Here's my new Tesla valuation model. I have this stock going to $1,333 per share in 2022, but more on that when I share my screen. Earnings is coming out tomorrow, and we need to discuss where the stock is likely to go, how much it can move, and my current options set up on Tesla stock. Ask any investor how to make money in the stock market, and the usual reply will be to buy a stock when the price is low and sell when the price is high. With Tesla, it's not that easy to understand, so I'm going to explain a few things I'm looking at starting Starting with Tesla's growth. The stock started this year at around $1,200 per share, but then the automaker's share price plummeted to levels well below $800. Management said in its earnings call that it expects to grow deliveries in 2022 at a growth rate comfortably above 50%. That's a major reason that I remain bullish on the stock amongst many other reasons. This outlook is particularly impressive given the global semiconductor shortage and other supply chain challenges. I expect Tesla's first quarter earnings to meet market expectations and for the stock to have some mild moves. Also, before I show you my position and different option trades you should open based on your view, we need to discuss the split. March 14, before Tesla announced a stock split, I predicted Tesla would split their stock. It's on YouTube, as you can see. I had intuition here because we've seen many stocks split lately, and as soon as Google announced, I just knew Tesla would be next within a quarter or two, but I was days before the announcement. One of the highest profile splits Splits was Apple's 4 to 1 split in August 2020. First, the stock doubled from its pandemic low going into the split. Then the stock skyrocketed by about 40% in the months following the split. In August 2020, Tesla had its first stock split. The company issued a 5 for 1 split and its share price exploded higher. The stock nearly doubled in the months surrounding the split announcement and has appreciated by around six fold since July 2020. With earnings and a stock split coming, I think we're going to see a mild swing upward since Tesla did just have the huge recovery, but who knows, maybe we can see a major move. Let's see my position and options that you can play. All right, so here's my portfolio. And if I scroll down, I have a couple of different option plays currently on Tesla. I do wanna open up more option plays, but I have a whole lot of shares. So I'm actually just going to share with you my ideas and I may open up a couple of trades when the market opens. So the first trade that I have is a Tesla put credit spread. I sold the 865 and 860 put. And basically that's because even if Tesla has a mild move upwards or a mild move downwards, it is still going to to be profitable to open up a put credit spread that is out of the money to grow even a small portfolio, a medium portfolio, or a large portfolio. This is one of my very favorite positions at the moment because you can collect like 10% on your money and you have very little risk. Next, I also do have covered calls on Tesla. I have 520 shares right here and currently I'm selling the Tesla $1,225 covered call option. I am actually above water here by $19,525, made 62% on these covered calls so far. If Tesla ends up moving higher, this position will still be profitable, but above $1,225, I will not be making any more money. So I'm going to click into Tesla stock because I want to show you a few different option positions that I am planning on opening up. And again, Tesla shareholder Q&A is due in about one day. There is 4,653 questions asked and 19,000 shareholders participated. So that is a lot of shareholders and I'm very excited for earnings to come up. Now I do have about a half mil here in this position. It is 31% of my current portfolio. I did reduce a lot of Tesla because it is a fairly risky stock. However, there is a lot of opportunity with this stock to make money in it. Again, I have two different option positions currently open, a put credit spread and a covered call. But what I wanna show you right now is let's say that your view on this stock is basically that it's either going to have a huge move upward or a big move downward. Then I wanna show you an iron condor position here because I basically wanna show you how you can make a really big return in a short amount of time. So April 22nd is expiration date. That is this Friday. This is going to capture in earnings. So April 22nd is the perfect expiration date to go for. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a call option. This is how you want to get started with an iron condor position, okay? A very cheap strategy, very suitable for small portfolios, especially if you want to take a risk on Tesla and bet that it's going to have a lot of volatility. Then I am going to actually show you selling an iron condor next as well. But let's first of all start with buying the $1,005 call option, okay? Tesla's currently trading for $1,005. So this is an at-the-money call option. Now, I bought the $1,005. I'm going to go ahead and sell the $1,000 
2010 dollar call option. Now I have created a spread. You will see right here, this is a call debit spread. I'm buying the 1005, selling the 1010. And if I didn't sell the 1010 actually, if I remove this, you can see the total cost here is $33 or $3,300. But now when I mix this in and sell the 1010, I'm actually subsidizing my position. I'm making it way cheaper. In fact, it went from $3,300 to just $245. So very, very cheap investment. This is actually an even money trade right here. You're risking $245. You could potentially make $255 here or turn $245 into $500. Basically 2Xing your money in a very short amount of time. The only thing that needs to happen is Tesla stock needs to go above $1,010. Okay, so actually this is the first position that you can run a call debit spread. Now to open up an iron condor, you just go to buy put option. Now what you want to do is you want to buy the $1,005 put option okay this is an in the money or actually at the money put option now what you're going to do is you're going to sell a put option but this time instead of going up from 1005 to 1010 you're actually going to go down from 1005 to 1000 okay so when i click this 1000 in right here you will see that the total cost is 498 you will see that the total cost here is 498 now i had a lot of questions being asked in my discord community and on my youtube videos about a christmas tree strategy why it's so hard to close and Actually, right here you will see that it actually doesn't make any sense to open up an iron condor now that i realize that the bid ask spreads are so wide i mean if you take a look here the bid is 30.85 and then 31.25 so actually what i realized right here is an iron condor on tesla doesn't make sense however when the market opens up this will change a little bit you can probably get this filled for 300 with a max gain of 500 that's actually worse that's worse than just betting on one side so i'm going to change my mind here on iron condors and i'm actually not going to recommend doing any iron condors you know, what I think you should do is to basically pick a side. I am bullish on Tesla. So this is actually the position that I'm going to open up, which is a call debit spread turning 245 into basically a total of $500. Now an iron condor does not make sense. Another strategy that I do have open that does make sense. And these are two bullish strategies. So call debit spread is a very bullish strategy because you're betting on Tesla going up. Now the other bullish strategy that I am a very big fan of is a put credit spread. Now a put credit spread is still a bullish strategy. It's still a fantastic strategy for growing a small portfolio. You're only going to need about 500 bucks or, or actually less than that to open up a position. But the benefit with a put credit spread is you don't have to be right. So again, with the call credit spread, if I go to call credit spread right here, if I buy the 1,005 and I sell the 1,010, Tesla has to move up above 1,005, which isn't that hard. However, it does have to move up. Let's say that earnings comes in and then Tesla kind of goes sideways and it goes down to $990. So basically as a stockholder, you get a little bit hurt. As a call option buyer, you get hurt. As a call debit spread buyer, you get hurt let me show you how you don't get hurt and basically do make some money even if tesla moves down just a little bit this is still a bullish strategy but here with a put credit spread let's say i go down to 950 okay i'm going to sell the 950 right now and i'm going to collect you know 1233 dollars however we need a whole lot of capital i understand that not everyone has that amount of capital so what i'm going to show you right now is sell put option then you're going to go to buy a put option and then you're going to buy the leg lower so you sold the 950 now you're going to buy the 945 and if i expand this the bid ask spread is actually really really good i mean 11 11 40 that's really tight and close that's good all right so i'm gonna buy this put option now you will see that the total credit is actually 113 dollars you are risking about 387 dollars to open up this position but again like i mentioned if tesla goes down just a little bit to 990 as long as it doesn't go below 950 you are completely fine you're going to be making money in fact you're going to make a $113 or actually this is about a 25% return. You're making about $113 on $387. $100 on $400 is 25%. So this is actually probably closer to 30% return and you will make this money so long as Tesla stays above $950, which is a very good deal because if Tesla goes up, you basically make about 20%. If Tesla goes down a little bit, you make about 25 or whatever, 30%. You're going to be making this money so long as you stay above of this point now if you do go below this point you can obviously lose this max loss right here of 387 dollars however this is a pretty good bet because tesla would have to fall down about seven percent or about 6.88 percent for you to see any losses start coming in and now the delta is 0.23 or basically 0.24 so essentially you have a three-fourths chance this is going to be successful and about a one 
of chance or 0.24 chance that this is not going to be successful position. More oftentimes than not, you're actually just going to collect this income right here. And what you can do is you can actually do a little bit of both. You can sell this full credit spread right here. You only need $387. And then again, if I go back to the call debit spread, now I can actually combine these two strategies and you can see what the chart is going to look like. So I'm going to buy call option again. I'm going to buy the 105 and I'm going to sell the 110. Now taking a look at this, you will see that your max profit is 367. You're risking 633. This is about half of 633. So you're making nearly a 50% return. This is a little bit riskier because of course you do have a greater max loss than just selling a put credit spread. However, you can have the put credit spread subsidize your call debit spread. So your total cost is $132, which is a little bit cheaper than if you were to do this without selling the put credit spread. And in fact, Tesla stock is going up just a little bit. So let me show you a slight variation here. So instead of going for the 105, you can even bet a little bit out of the money. Say you want to go for 1,025 and then you want to sell the 1,030. So you believe that Tesla stock will jump up to 1,030. All right, so now your max profit is $400 and your max loss is $600. So now your return is actually higher However, the drawback with having a higher return means that you do have a little bit of a higher risk. Now you will notice that you need Tesla stock to definitely go up to around $1,030 to see some profit, or in fact, at least about this break even point of $1,026 to break even. And then at $1,030, you're going to make $400 worth of profit. So this is a pretty decent return, but again, there's a lot of variation that you can do here. So I do encourage you to play around with this. And if you do want to ask me any questions, I do have a private Discord community where you can have coaching with me on Mondays and Wednesdays and see all of the live trades that I'm making and of which I'm going to make a couple of trades on Tesla for sure before earnings. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, learned a lot, and I'll see you in the next one.